Ooh, oh yeah, the, we have to do poo poo as the last card. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. So we don't have to care about anything. Just lose Doom Train. Save. Here. Or, I guess you're just doing uh, Doom Train. Yeah. Oh crap! Direct. What is direct? That's the one where you have to make sure that like Doom Train is flipped to red for her to take it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Now I can't possibly flip. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If I was the Queen of Cards, I'd be like... Like, at this point, you would have played the Squall, like, 50 times, right? And, like, what would... <clears throat> what would you do if... Wow, I got, like, perfect RNG there. What, what would you do if, like, somebody just all of a sudden used the crappiest cards humanly possible... You're like, wait, what? Why why are you doing this? I just find that that would be very, very odd. Hey, you normally have uh, three black lotuses, like authentic black lotuses in your magic deck, and now you're playing with like a bunch of scrubs. What, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I'm just going to lose this black lotus to you. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I wish I wish there was uh, there wasn't power creep in Pokemon the card game. I guess you could still say as an example why do you lose this Charizard, but like every single Charizard that comes out is like generally stronger than the last. So much so that if you use the first five to ten years worth of Pokemon cards, uh, you will not be able yeah, to it's beat not even anything close. from. I haven't paid attention to the Pokemon card game in like at least five years now, but I know like. Charizard, like, GX, like, I think that was, like, around, like, 6th or 7th gen, like, was a 300 HP card, and, like, I think its signature uh, move does, like, literally, like, either 200 or 300, like, HP of damage, and it's, like, you compare that to the original one, which has, like, 120 HP, and you need 4 energies to do 80 damage, yeah. and you discard, like, 3 energies off of it, it's not even close. Yeah, it's not even close. <laughs> I just find that to be weird, that, uh... So wait, you lost Doom Train. Yeah, I'm getting Doom Train back. Okay. Whoops. Uh... So, work. Yeah, seriously, on time, sorry. What cards will they play? Okay. It's literally the Bastado. Uh. Oh, crap. What? He has direct on, and getting Doom Train is going to be virtually impossible because he's probably going to play it in the top right. Well, and just, I, I have to flip it save? over. Yeah, you did just say. Yeah, yeah. I think. Eh. Go, go out. Too old for sports? Uh, I think if I save and reload, I think it brings it back to, uh, like, single trade card rule. Yeah, direct would be pretty tough. Especially if he plays it in its right position, then it would be essentially impossible for you to win. Yeah, I, I would I would win the game, but ugh, come on. Uh, I guess I'll try to go win Phoenix, and hopefully it just resets itself. But since the Queen of Cards actually went to Dale, I can talk to her about it. It's cool. I am the Queen of Cards. Phoenix card, and it's an Esker. As the final hardest card to make in the game, you'd figure it would be, like, played for, by someone cool. But it's just, like, the presidential aid in Esther. <laughs> just some random, like, nameless NPC. No, don't like that. Still the most... Uh, ill-fitting song in the game. It's an amazing song. Yeah, that's the same song that they play in the Lunar Base too, and in Bella. It's, right. it's so weird. Right, and the Lunar they Base They use one, it so much. The Lunar Base one it did not work. 
Oh, that's cool. Hey, it's just me with my 500-foot spaceship. I'm just landing here. So this makes this makes a lot of sense for uh, Esther right now. Yeah, we're getting like ready to do like the final mission. I'm going to Lunatic Pandora. I have a feeling that this part's literally just going to be triple triad stuff because I I think I'm going to have to make a save where I win the Squall card from Laguna because this save I mistakenly made it with Squall already being won. And that means I already saw all, all the cutscenes and stuff. I think it's this guy. You like card I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Difference, that's great. Yeah, difference is good. Hopefully it stays like that. Oh, I wish he had open. It's weird how open is the, uh... Oh, there you go. Is, it's not very good. It looks really dumb. Instead of a phoenix, it looks like a woman, kind of, with wings. That is not a great representation. Mm, I, I see the phoenix, but I, I don't think it's, like, the best design in the world or anything. Uh... Slower! This is times three! I understand your frustration. I don't think I have to worry about any mean uh, rules. I'm pretty sure it's just elemental, and that's it. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's all. We did it. It's so nice when it just happens in yeah, one first, try. Yeah, first try. Alright, um, so that's it, except for Poo Poo, right? Oh, I saw it the one June train. Okay. And it's okay. level nine and ten are the ones where there's only one that exists in the world. Yeah. One to eight, you can get as many as. No, you can. eight as well as uh, like lower GF cards. Uh, so, it, we're, it's some GF cards and also like random like important stuff like Angelo and like Fat Chocobo and stuff like that. Got it. So eight, nine, and ten, there's only one in the world. Yeah. Got it. So I've been having literally way too much fun doing uh, the random AI generated uh, pictures and I literally don't even care if, if like that stuff gets uploaded straight into cybernet or whatever skynet i i don't care why did the cursor disappear whatever i'm so over this game right now but it's super hilarious just yeah. all this stuff and and the, sometimes it works just so perfectly you just it's amazing i just want to imagine like if an ai like, like if if you could like humanize an ai kind of like in like irobot where it's just like a robot that's an ai talking to will smith and just imagine all the ridiculously stupid things that people have been having it make. Like, literally one I made today that Ferris and I were laughing at for like five minutes was just um, Guy Fieri, Pepe the Frog, and Harambe having a barbecue. And it's just like, and it was just like, 30 seconds please, here you go, here's four times where... Why is it still direct? Here's four times where that's exactly what's happening, and it's like, <laughs> what the crap? I'm sure I could have added, like, another... I could have been, like, Peter Griffin. I did one where I mentioned, like, every single, uh... Like, popular cartoon character. I was like, Beavis and Butthead, Eric Cartman, Bart Simpson, Peter Griffin, all singing karaoke. And they literally did it. It was kind of like the, uh... How do you say, um... Uh... What was that thing called in the nineties, uh, where 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 every every big artist sang together? World peace or something like that. <clears throat> I got, I'm I'm too young for that, but that was that was the thing where where like every single like famous artist got together and sang a song about peace or love or something, and that's pretty much what it looked like, and it was awesome. This is it. Yeah, but oh man, what are you gonna yeah, do? I just can't get it. I think I just have to play until, like, Direct just naturally peters out. Because 
the card trade rules are never like set in stone well, like ever let me say this uh just in terms of time and stuff like that we see what you have to do and since you have to do another one anyway where you win the squall card i think we'd be fine with it yeah i guess so. just because like he's gonna play doom train I guess the only way you could do it is if if he played Doom Train and you went first, and you put a card in the upper right, right? Yeah, and he he's smart enough to know not to use it in anywhere other than the. Oh yeah, I could use it in the upper right. Right, and then. Yeah. Wait, no, because then he could use it in the middle right, and. Oh yeah, that's true. So he could just keep doing it over and over again. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, we, like, we won Doom Train. Of course, the dog... Yeah, impossible. Oh! Oh! Minus one. Okay, we can do this. The problem is that the only... card that I have... Okay. The problem is that with Direct, is yeah. that even if, I, even if I win this, I need to make sure that he doesn't flip a single one of my cards, because then he'll Woo! take my card. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. So it's either Edr or Renoa, right? If you play Renoa... No, it's also Squall. I want to use Squall more because Oh, of, because of that, yeah. Because of the 6. Yeah, use Squall on the right. I agree. He can't get the and 9. I, I could get Squall back if I use, like, a, a last second of yeah. Renoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And then if he, if he flips it on the bottom right, that's fine. Use Edia in the bottom left. I think I can see how this could work. Hopefully he just doesn't flip Squall. Okay. Sick. And just play it. Super safe, yeah. Yeah. Edia. Okay, we did it. Nice! We got so lucky. Oh man, so lucky! Oh, holy crap. Okay. It, it specifically had to be elemental, elemental minus one. Minus one. Wow. Right. Now we're going to get the poo poo card. I, like, vaguely remember this quest. It's just so random. You just find the alien. It's funny that we've been talking about aliens today, but we're gonna literally find a UFO alien. I actually have to look up a guide, because it's so random. Can you show, um... Can you show the card list, just so we can see? It's, like, so weird, so str Like, one, all of them, uh... Blacked out just means he had him and he, like, made him into yeah, other cards. Yeah, I'm not counting it. I don't need to have every card because I do not want that. Because the last thing we have to do is that we have to win back the Cures card from the Queen of Cards in Disc 4 with every single rule intact, which includes random. So I want as little cards yeah. as possible. But if it shows up there, he's had it, right? And he can get it again easily. Three, it's all there. Four, it's all there. And then five, literally you're going to play the whole game and be like... What the crap is this? And, it doesn't, and look, it's look in at the this point, middle. at this point, clearly Trebs had like a, he has seven chimeras, so he's probably had like fifteen of all these different cards, right? And you go to six, and you've had multiple of everything. Yeah, these are all boss cards, but you get to this. It's so random because it's not like the top or the bottom, which w could like signify being like more special. It is the fourth card, and then it's just right here. And then seven is also like he's look, he yeah. has seven try points, and he's made those into things before. And then eight, nine, and ten, of course. Where's Minotaur? I had to uh, mod him for um, Adamantine to make the Lionheart. Right, but then you also get him back. I, I get the... him back with the the CC club on the Ragnarok at the gotcha. end. Gotcha. And then, of course, level nine, and I guess level ten, you're also done. Yeah. yeah so well, we, went, we win from Laguna, but I'll do that next week. So weird. Level five, the fourth one down, and it's like... I don't want to say the most cryptic card in the game, because there's a lot of very, very, very cryptic cards. Right, and hopefully I have... Cool. I need five elixirs. So I have seven. Okay, I am remembering this. I don't know how in the world you're supposed to know this. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. You spend fourteen ninety nine on the strategy guide, yeah. and then you know it. I, uh, I personally love strategy guides. I think they're an awesome piece to, like, have alongside, uh, like, your collection. But to have stuff that requires it is BS. 
And old uh, old RPGs did this all the time. Alright, so it's like around here. I think it starts a, a custom song. Yeah, it's like a cutesy song. It's like a... So you gotta go back to Windhill, which, like, you would never be here for any reason. Yeah, like, Windhill's, like, the least relevant place in the game. Like, Squall literally does not come here. What is Windhill again? Oh, that's the place where Laguna was in a flashback, yeah, right? where, okay. like, Rain lived. So that's four, at least four, where you still haven't seen this creature yet. So you're supposed to essentially grind here. Sure is weird. I'm gonna try on the beach. Ha ha ha! Odin Sama! Hey, I heard you were fighting this level 3 piece of crap. Let me help ya. The, the easiest enemy in the game. I got this, kid. Come on, poo poo, dude. I think that's like 8 now? Yeah, I don't know if it's like specifically a very particular spot or just around here if it's just chance. I'm not 100% sure. I'll verify just to be sure. I have to be in the wind. Okay. That was in Galpania for a second, so it definitely wouldn't happen there. But I have to be in somewhere called the Windhill Bluffs. And it still says Galpania. <coughs> oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, so no, no music. So the first four times you see it, you don't even need to, like, fight it or anything. You just need to see it. So you see that once, and you go, well, that was weird, That right? was weird. But then you have to go somewhere else and do it again? Oh, I'm just gonna... Uh, take advantage of... It's... Yeah, that's no encounters. Alright, so second one... Literally cheating. It's all over. Where Timber is... Okay. There's not a lot of towns in this game compared yeah, there to really a lot isn't. of other FF games. I think uh, it's literally right here. Like, when you pull up the world map, there's just... Here we go. Oh, wow. We're trying. There's just way less, uh, way less places to visit. Now, the places have, like, a lot to them... But when you compare it to FF7 and 9, I can tell you FF9 has like a million places on most of the on but both the major continents. Very interesting. Alright, so it's east of Trabia Garden. It's an island. I think it might be this. Sure. Why not just a random Oh! Yo, no, you have no encounters on! Yeah, I think this might be, like, it, it like advancing it, like, quicker than I'm usual. I'm fine with that. So we had a lot of crap awesome. RNG so far, so... Well, that's why. That's why you got it twice in a row. Yeah, okay. So that... I do not feel bad at all. Nope. Okay. East of Cactar Island. There's certain things that are just, like... Um... So quality of life that you're like, dude, whatever. I uh, do not care. I think this guide means west of Cactar Island. You certainly will know in a sec. <laughs> yeah, this, this is definitely. Uh, it's called Cash a Bald Desert, if yeah. you want. Yeah, there you go. Western part of the desert I carrying a pair of the It said the western part, I don't know if that helps at all. There we go. No! Pyramid! Uh, 
Uh, pyramids did Pearl Harbor. Okay. I was just trying to find a find a good uh, conspiracy theory since we were talking about. And the final place makes is uh, iconic as the ruins of where Blom Barn used to be. Hey, Bowser Party. Wait. Yeah, fly over to Crane. Randidi Forest in Northern Esther. I already did all four of them. No, it's saying that... Oh, that... there's one more. Okay. Whoops. Eastern Travia. The Heath Peninsula. Mandy Beach, the beast east, of, the beach east of Timber. Now I saw that one. Okay. I remember this. Uh, so this is where that secret uh, Chocobo Forest is, where we got the Chocobo card, but we can land specifically. <laughs> At the top of the canyon. Like this. Oops. Sorry. Okay. What? <laughs> Holy crap. Did you even move? No. Do I have to attack it? I think I do. Oh, you can leave and counter none on until you find the UFO, so. Oh, that's cool. I think I just attacked it. Yeah, I destroyed it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna run to a kook in it, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe it had more than 5,000 HP. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, little buddy. <laughs> Good! <laughs> How are you supposed to know about this? Yeah, this is just unbelievably ridiculous. Yeah, we we did something. You sure did. Wow, evade junction. That's a good item. Uh, not blob. Okay. Dude, that uh, that flew really far. When you when you hit it with the sword, it uh, it really flew. Okay, here we go. Hey, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Look at him. Kind of cute. What happens if you don't give him elixir? I don't want to find out. No, I have four elixirs. I wonder if Mega Elixir will count. It probably doesn't because these games are stupid. Yeah. He has ten health. <laughs> More elixir, please! Here you go, bud. We did it. Aliens do exist. I think I need to do one more. And they want elixir. Yeah, one more. <laughs> Imagine if an alien shows up and is like, More elixir, please! What's, what's elixirs for humans like? Monster energy drink. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, some sort of energy drink. <laughs> More monster energy drink, please! Okay. Yay! The weirdest card in the game is ours. Also, it is not a good card. It, what? It, nothing happened? Like, he doesn't, like... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do anything. Poo poo card. How in the world are you supposed to do this? I thought he would... Look at that star! Oh, that does, the that, star. Does, that does not exist in the original one. That does not. There's no way. We got it. It sucks. One, three, oh, two, ace. It has an ace. So that's the only non-level eight card that has an ace. That Wait, makes sense. No, level eight cards don't even have aces. So only nine. Yeah, only level nine cards have aces. So yeah, one, two, three, ace. <laughs> now, um Did you get any other stars? <laughs> I don't think so. Do you have all the GFs? Yeah. I showed that last time. Now if you're super curious, you can make the hungry cook 
putt, which also refines down to basically a dark matter, which can give you uh, Rosetta Stone, which is ability times four, or luck junction, or Quisis's best uh, blue magic. So it does give you like an amazing reward, but like, why would you want to? Uh, After going, going let, through all. Let's that. put it this way: if you're this far in the game and you did that, why would you need it, right? Because you can't do that until you get the Ragnarok ride anyway. Yep. So, like, you're, like, essentially done with the game anyway. Alright, um... I kind of forgot how late you get the Ragnarok. It is, like, story-wise, very you late. You go to the, um, Sorceress Memorial to save Renoa. Then you go to Esther to talk to Laguna. Then you go to Luna Pandora. And that's all you do with the Ragnarok. Right. If you just want to ignore the side quests. Right, right, right. Alright, so... We did it, lads. Yeah, I just don't think I have a good save for this. I'm just gonna load that one level. No, I don't think it's gonna work. I think that save, I've already talked to Laguna. Yeah, I'll just check if I have the squad card. That's the easiest way to check. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, make a new save file um, next time, but. I'll show getting the squall card from Laguna, and then... Plus, that's some story stuff anyway. Yeah. So. Cool. All right, so we are very getting towards the end. Do you have any other side quests besides the Queen of Cards to get the cards back at the yeah, end? Yeah, it's just getting two cards from the CC Club and then getting the one card from the Queen of Cards, and that's it. That We have to do a triple try. Wow, and that's just... And honestly, we, we don't stuff. need to do it. I mean, we already have the star, but I just want to have every single uh, unique card in my inventory let's go so maybe maybe two maybe three sit downs i know ultimatia's thing is pretty long uh castle so we'll see but yeah. we're getting there folks there's not much to do yeah two or three sit downs okay all right guys we'll see you then bye